Meanwhile, a geologist for the state says these kinds of landslides are not uncommon in Maine, but you usually don't see them this time of year. So what were the forces at work here? Well, meteorologist Mike Slifer is here with at least one explanation of what could have happened. Mike? Hey Amanda, as Zach said, we're still looking to figure out exactly what caused it, which we should have an answer eventually, but let's talk a little bit about the visualization of what may have occurred and also talk a bit about just the science of landslides like this in general. So let's zoom out a bit here. We've got the river here, our layer of topsoil all sitting on top of this layer of clay. Now you've got weight and human activity from that topsoil sitting on top of this clay. And what can happen over time is that the weight and activity on top of it actually causes the clay to liquefy. And when that happens, the clay itself washes out. And this layer of clay, remember, is supporting everything on top of it. That's your trees, your rocks. You've got everything uh, being supported by this layer of clay. So when that washes out, you ultimately end up with a scene like this you end up with your landslide and of course that takes everything with it into the um, river in this case and it's going to be interesting to see exactly what factor triggered the landslide but with the soil set up like this again it's not something that's terribly uncommon amanda so we'll be looking to see exactly what caused it but for now this is one possible explanation of what happened and a little look into the science behind these landslides all right mike thank you